Hello everyone, welcome back to Stoneheart Me Bantos. We're back here and uh, we got another message from the bunny people. Get shook down here. Some goblins somehow found an entrance to our hovel. And they're asking for a bunch of wooden doors. We have neither wood or nor a carpenter on paw, so could you perhaps craft some for us? Alternative, we are not afraid to fight them. We're gonna craft them some doors. Yeah, we're gonna do some doors. Excellent, please let us know as soon as the doors are ready. Sure. So we need uh, 10 more wooden doors, so let's go to the cop. He is very, very busy with things. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna make sure we're making a few more doors. Let's make like maybe 8 doors. Because we have a few extra ones. So there we go, we're gonna drop them at the top there. Exotic fabric merchant arrived with exquisite wares to sell. Okay, let's check him out. Do you want to buy anything for this guy? I'm not sure if we need any more clothing for our workers. Do we need more clothing? So, it looks like this guy maybe has the standard one. Maybe, or is that the upgraded one? Is that the upgraded one? Upgraded work outfit, okay. I think the one that is not upgraded doesn't have this... Um, Golden things. Okay, so pretty much every worker has an upgraded one, so we don't need to get more of those. I will, however, buy some thread and maybe even some cloth because uh, we're gonna need that. So let's go in here. We're gonna see if we have a few things that we could perhaps sell. I'm gonna sell the monkey shrine key again. Excellent. Bought it last time and I didn't really want it. Um, I'll sell a few of these bunnies, make some new ones, earn a little bit of gold. Ooh, look at that one. A master ornated right desk. I'm gonna keep that one. It's worth a lot of money, but I'm gonna keep that for our tavern. So we have a lot of extra work outfits that we are never ever gonna use. So I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell all of them. And if we need more, I'm I'm gonna buy or craft more later on. So yes, when I just want to kind of like clear out our inventory a little bit. We can keep a few armors. We're gonna promote some new, but we don't need that many of the weaker shielder. Looks like we're pretty good on having wood for the moment. How much stone do we have? Pretty good on stone as well. I always have a little bit of trouble to sell things off. Oh, look at that, guys. A warm wolf, a master quality. 990 gold. That's an insane hot dog. Wow. I would like to put that on a pedestal to like, this is the master hot dog. No one's gonna eat that one. <laughs> Probably have to preserve it in a really good way so it never rots, so we can keep its high quality flavor going on. Okay, so we got a lot of fiber, a lot of cloth, so hopefully we have a need for that. A wide wall banner, let's buy two of those, and also two long wall banners. And now we're pretty much out of gold. Let's see, do we have anything more we can sell for now? I'm gonna sell this one to get a little bit more gold. Okay, there we go. And I changed it all, the entire town, by the way. I put everyone to do hauling now, so... Pretty much everyone should be eating, sleeping, and hauling things. I just felt like it's time to maybe clean up the town a little bit. And we bought a lot of cloth, a lot of thread now, so we need to put that in the storage in here. Or in here, depends where it's gonna go. I wonder if we still keep any food in these. Okay, so there we're gonna drop that one as well. We can we can do some animal parts as well, I guess. These. And also we could do that one. Like so, that's gonna be good. And perhaps in here, in the weaver house, we should actually try to get one of these shelves that we could uh, try to always fill up with things. So we do have one in stone for now that we could maybe drop... Um, let's see, where would it work? Maybe here next to the... Um, it would be standing and selling things. Because we do have that the basket. Um, I wonder if we can loot that one from there. Might be better to have in the back there, so... Oh, I want to order a little bit of spool of thread, and they hand it over. And the bunny happy... the happy bunny tells them goodbye, farewell, people. Okay, so there we go with that. I haven't seen this one in-game, by the way, the trading goods earn. Extra large earn for trading. Oh, that's really, really big. 
I like that one, looks cool. Would like to put that somewhere later, but not entirely sure for now where. So uh, let's see here what we're gonna have in this one. This one has this one has pool of thread, so maybe we do some clothing on that instead then. So we do this one, bolt of cloth. It would be really cool if any modder, I'm gonna suggest maybe the Pingu that made the uh, home sweet home. You know, we do have these storage that sit on the walls, we have the storage that are on the ground, like this basket, but it would be really cool if there were a storage, like a very, very small storage, very tiny, pretty much the same size as the over one here, the one above, that you can drop on the desk, and that will be a stockpile that works the same as that one. But you do only have like six slots, like compared to this one that has 12. That would be really cool, or maybe one that has only four slots or something. So you can drop them up here, and that would look pretty cool, I think. So they're gonna try to refill that with cloth then. And so far, I actually removed our walls. I will be adding them later, but for now, I just removed them both of performance. And because I'm not 100% where I want to put them, it's leaning towards putting them here. But uh, we will see later exactly where we will be going. It could also be, I had some weird ideas to make the wall start here instead, on the bridge. But I think that's gonna be weird if it's going over the bridge instead and it would be a gate here to go through and then the walls continue in the water. That was another idea I had. So we'll see what we do about that. And also, maybe the, the um, trapper down here, I feel like he need a little bit more storage. You only have this crate sitting here, which isn't that much and Maybe we could fit in a stone shed somewhere in here. I just feel like he could have a little bit more items, a little bit more space down here. So I'm gonna give him a uh, large uh, stone shed so we can do one outside as well. So they don't have to walk so far when they are trapping from these two trapping grounds. And we do have two trappers, Peppa Pig and we also have Fees, but no one is working at the moment. These buttons down here are so useful if you never use them and if you want to pause things. Click these buttons if you will pause everything instead of going through click, 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 click for everyone. Because it's so much better to do it this way. If you want to pause it for everyone. But see, everyone is restocking things, so... Everyone is pretty busy right now. We probably have a lot of things sitting up here still. And uh, maybe we should actually do a new temporary road since we removed the one we had because we can have our church sitting there. So uh, let's uh, do a new road. Doesn't matter so much color. I'm gonna go for um, a clinker maybe. Just gonna make it go to the ladder. The only actually need to be one wide, but I think it looks a little bit silly when it's just one in uh, width with the blocks, so I'm gonna do two. And I'm just gonna make it so it uh, kinda touches uh, the road we're gonna do later. Maybe not all the way, we can stop already here, I think. So then we wanna build that. And since we pause everything, we will have to do an unpause building if we're gonna do that. I, I guess we could do hauling and building for now. Digging fun day. Okay, yeah, they're gonna do the roads. So that's gonna be a pretty quick build. Uh, but we want to do another road. That's gonna go around the church and up to the, the ladders we got sitting there. So I think we will do that from here. Going down like that, pretty simple. We still have the roads up here. And check out this uh, attacking a dangerous goblin. Oh, that's just one of those red armored ones. <laughs> it was inside in, it wasn't open yet. The goblins, so you couldn't get any nice uh, beer inside yet. We'll only get the fear of our people. Let's see, anyone else gonna help with this guy? Or a guy's gonna slack somewhere else? 
Okay, there we go. Uh, by the way, let's add back a little bit uh, of the job again. I guess we can do all for now. Uh, the reason for that is that um, we're going to make those doors. We have to have job on or the carpentry. It's not going to be doing any carpentry. So I think we might actually build uh, the bridge soon because then we can get over here. And since I did use the road tool for the bridge here, what we got going on up here, we will also run faster on the bridge and since you run faster, the Harfling will prefer to take this path than other paths, so it would be a landmass going here and there would be a road here. They would take this one instead of that one, because it's a better, faster way to get there. And I think we can actually probably do this one soon, because what we're really missing here, as far as I can tell, is uh, only really the different things that need to be crafted. So I think we could actually move on to... Building our bridge was going to be an, uh, quite a big thing to do. So let's give it a go and uh, try to do the bridge. And I'm going to queue up a few things with the mason. Because re I removed some... I sold some rabbit things. Gonna do like six of each. A lot of bunny crafting going on. And I really can't wait, you know, for it to get the spring again. I'm tired of wintering game. I want to have a little bit of spring now. Over tomorrow is going to be sunny, but I think it's still going to be cold. Do anyone know if there's a good way? How? When, when do we know that it's going to be a spring? I'm not entirely sure how that works. We've got Arf Moon 7. So I'm not sure how... Oops. I'm not sure how many more days it's going to be. Let's go harvest those. And I really, really like when you play with um, Project A's as we did in the latest live stream. You can have these auto harvest things. You don't have to go back and harvest this over again, over and over. They always handle it on their, their own, and that makes uh, like uh, berry bushes and the gathering these flowers so powerful and so easy. So it's super good, and we have a little bit of silkweed here. I would wish that we had a little bit more silkweed, but we mostly have a lot of flowers. I think the game crashed. Okay guys, so I had a game crash and I don't know guys, is it is it time maybe to move on to a new town pretty soon? Like the, my game is running really really slow and the game has started to crash which is uh, it hasn't really done before really. This town makes me a little bit scared that it's gonna keep going. So we're a little bit uh, behind again, we're fighting the goblins one time more. So we're gonna turn on all the jobs, and uh, I don't think we will worry too much about the goblins. We're just gonna go and harvest all these flowers like we did before. But I think it might be time soon maybe to do a new town. Like, I don't want to do it, guys. I would love to make this a lot bigger, but... When the game tells you it's time to start crashing, and when the game is running super bad... Feels like that's when it's time to <laughs> do a new one. Like, my... Favorite thing to do would be to make this town really, 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 really big. Like put in all the walls, build in the bridge, do our church, and uh, just keep going, like for as long as we want to do it. Because I have a lot of things that I would like to design and make for a town. Like I want to do more profession houses, but if it's um, if it's gonna keep crashing, you know, it's gonna be quite frustrating to keep recording this. I really, really enjoy building here and playing on this one, but not when the game starts uh, being rude, Banto. So let's do a ladder up here, and uh, then we'll be able to get through here the water. Since they're not swimming in the game, they walk on like they kind of swim, you know, but they're not really swimming. They're faking the swimming, right? <laughs> so we, you have to put ladders between different levels, pretty much, else they will not be able to get through here. Oh, did I put down to do this, like, I think there, there's some blocks that goes down a little bit in uh, the dirt there, I guess. That should be fine, it's only three blocks, so that should be no problem for ours. So let's go back to the mason, we're gonna make sure we make more bunny things. I'll be making a load of them. They actually need coal, ears up, just like the huge stone garden rabbits, except we. 
Uh, do we make the doors? We're making the doors. That's good to see. So we will have the doors ready hopefully pretty soon. That's good. I'm gonna harvest these bushes because we ain't getting so much food now. Like these farms ain't grown very much now since it's got the winter. So we have to keep our food up or else it's gonna drop low. As you can see, we already lost a lot. I think we had like 3,000 before. And now we're down to 2,400. And we don't want people to start starving, so... Let's see what it cook. Can we make more cooking things? Uh, we do have more raw vegetables. So we can definitely do some more cooking, that's for sure. And we can do more of the tasty vegetables too. Don't think we're even making that one. So let's make 25 of those. Oh, that's interesting. Why did it come above the other ones? Like normally that's not how it works. Let's try to add it again and see what happens. Let's do 4 to 35. Oh, that's weird. Okay, there we go. So we're making some sausage and we're trying to keep some roasted sausage made. And I'm just gonna look through if we can make something more in here. I think that's really all we can do with the cook for now. Would it be cool to like switch out to this blacksmith door for this house? That would be really awesome if it was, you know, possible to switch out doors and things later on. I know that it isn't possible and uh, from what I heard it would be an enormous task to make a building edible after you have... To make a building editable after you have actually built it. So probably nothing we're gonna see. Maybe sometime in the very far future, maybe. If some super clever guy or girl makes one mod that is possible to do that, but um, I wouldn't put my hopes to that thing. Uh, let's see, the one I'm, I don't think we have things to sell for now, maybe to buy things. Coral petal pedestal, a decorative display of aromatic flowers and herbs. They're pretty cool, um, that's also pretty cool. A sunflower, let's buy one of those. A Gilda Coral Cushion. Let's buy some of those. And we're gonna buy some of those chests since I maintain them, that should be fine. Oh, here we can buy some animals. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any now. I feel like I don't have the food for it anyway. But I highly recommend to have like auto save on this game. Like when you get further, it's even more important. And when the more mods you have, it's even more important. And um, overall, it's good to have on. It's a little bit pauses the game for a while, but it um, can save you a lot of time. Like it did for me now. I would have lost so much time if that. Didn't work, but uh, look at here, we got the bridge pillars going up, so that's good. Got some fast swimming people here. I don't think there's a trade for fast swimming. Is there a trade for it? It would uh, certainly be interesting if we were one that can swim really, really fast. Invaders. Okay, we got them up here. Rally people. Get the troops ready. And uh, maybe we should put out that gong and we can continue a little bit of fighting with uh, the kobolds and stuff. I think I'm gonna do it after this battle. I think we should have one ready. If not, we're just gonna go and craft it. Uh, do they have any heaters here? I don't see any heaters for now. Oh, there's the healers. <laughs> they were so late to the battle. Screw healers. I'm not gonna do anything for them. You're going down, man. That was your turn, dude. I'll get some thieves as well, okay. This shouldn't be too dangerous, though, so we're gonna look them up soon.
can do. We go for them. Let's see what the thieves are. Hey, is that wolf thief? Did I read it wrong? Did it say thief? I don't think it said uh, wolf at least. Let's go down and fight him. They're probably gonna deal with him alone, I guess. It sounds like we have some more enemies somewhere. Oh, here's the thief. So that wolf was just an extra wolf. Maybe he's been around for a while, even. Okay, so there we go, guys. There we go. And uh, let's customize this a little bit. Uh, we don't want um, pretty much any of this. We only really want animal things in here and maybe food as well. Let's do the same for this one. So let's see if we can put out that gong. It would be cool to fight some of them. It would be nice with a little search function here. It would be pretty awesome. So they're not down at the trophies. Probably decoration, I guess. It was pretty long since I put the craft it, so... Maybe I even dropped it somewhere, but I never activated it. Here it is. So I'm gonna drop this inside of our town now that we're gonna fight, and then later on we will just uh, go ahead and remove that one. Yes, there we go. And... Uh... Oh, I thought you were supposed to... I thought you click this one, that's how I remember it, like you come up with a little thing and slam it, like doing, but uh, I guess not. And we might be able to make the other gongs as well. Okay, we can't make those until we have uh, defeated the kobolds for this one. So they probably should uh, come sometime, not too far future, and attack us. Oh! Okay, so here we got the kobolds, I guess. The kobold stares longly at your piles of gold. Wreck, you notice me? What are you doing? We see you many treasures in the piles of boxes. Us need many, many loot. You share, yes? Why do you need so much loot? You ask why? We offer the great goddess Kulugana. Bring great riches after life. Now you know. You need to give us treasure, nah? You know, give shinies, we take. Okay, so now we have pissed off the gob- uh, now we have pissed off the kobolds. Yes, they can't find food. That message is pretty annoying. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, here we go. The invaders are here. They don't have a bridge to cross though, so... <laughs> not gonna go so good for them. Probably gonna try to swim over. So we're just gonna wait for them until they get up here. See where my people are. Like pretty slow it seems. Let's go here. Take down the wolf first. And it looks like they have the healers in the front. I think that's the healers. Uh, let's go up here. We don't have to be down there. Uh, let's go back. Okay, it wasn't any healers. Okay. So this attack is pretty easy. It's it's easier than, the, than the, like you know the random attacks we get, because these are the really really weak bolts. Archie level five, Isabel awesome. So did she get like the double arrow thingy? That's really really good. Or is that the last one? Okay, the last one level six. We get the double arrow, which is really awesome. Can't find any food. Hello, Kamari. <laughs> it really should have done something that can't find any food thing. It's um, It says it all the time, pretty much. I don't think it did with Ace, though. A community expansion product. Okay, so there we go. I think we did defeated the first wave of the Cabals. I do have a camp over here that I think we should decide to, you know, go over there and just take it out. Let's deliver the doors to these guys. Shook down, thank you. I'm sure the little snakes one will find it quite satisfactory. May our friendship ever blossom. He offers you glittering bags of payment to get 
three gold legs. Thank you, Bunny. Okay, so... <laughs> Here we can see the difference between footmen and other troops. That is what is uh, making them split up so much. So I think I'm just gonna go back and we're gonna meet halfway again. Let's see what we can get in this treasure. I'm kind of uh, interested to see what we will get in this one. Okay, we got some new scout hats, but we got a camp away. That's good to see. We're gonna we're gonna put to destroy that the little tiny camp as well. We kind of want to get all of these camps away around us, pretty much. Let's buy some stone from Rufus. There we go. Couple scout whimpers on the ground. Last week, put on the leaf gong if you dare. Are we gonna do that, man? So, I think that we're gonna do that, guys, for the next episode. We're gonna craft a blacksmith elite gong recipe. And we're gonna put it out and uh, we're gonna start uh, to fight those kobolds. But, guys, thank you for checking out today's episode with uh, Stoneheart for me, Banto. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, it's getting a little bit frustrating to play the game. Like, I would love to build it bigger, like I said. But, um,. Everything just runs really bad now, the game starts to crash and it starts to feel a little bit unresponsive pretty much. So I will see you guys how we will do. I would love to build it like fully like I said, but we will see if it's gonna be like possible with the performance. So I hope I don't sound too negative about it. It's just, you know, it's frustrating when you love something and it doesn't work exactly like you want it to do. But guys, thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope to see you soon again in another next video. So thanks for being here and uh, have a great, great time. See you soon again, guys.